and I am going to be going over a tutorial I've been planning for a couple of days now. Ever since I saw these pictures from Rihanna's Loud album cover, I fell in love. I, the tones, the colors are beautiful and I really wanted to kind of try to figure out how the photographer or the editor did this. So after playing around for a couple of days and literally this, I was up at night. I was like, I need to figure this out, you know. Um, I came up with one, the closest pos possible editing technique I could. So I want to share with you guys. I have a couple of different images. One of them was taken by me. And it's this one right here. So I'm going to show you guys what I came up with. And I mean, feel free to chime in with, you know, some of your techniques. But I mean, I literally was staring at this for hours. I was like, how the hell? Like, I mean, this one, she's naked in the, kind of naked in the woods <laughs> kind of thing. Um, but it's nice, you know, they filled in the blacks with the purple. So I really wanted to use this in my image. And keep in mind, for this to work, you have to have some sort of red in there. Otherwise, it's going to look weird. So, again, red in the picture, red hair, red outfit, something red. Just for this to kind of work out like the Rihanna shoot. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go ahead and go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then levels. We're just going to bring out some of the tones in here. So I am going to bring out, I know her skin's going to kind of look orange in this one, but that's okay. We're going to bring out more of the black, and we can always change this later, but I, I wanted to just bring it out just a tiny bit, and I'll show you the difference just so that we're filling in the black so that there's a little bit, it makes it more obvious. And then we are going to go to the magic layer. So we're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. And you guys, again, I tried a million different options. I think I had a PSD file that had literally like 10 layers on it, and I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Like, I need to pull this back. I was able to do this with just the curves layer. So I'm going to show you guys what I came up with. Now let's first pull the tones just a tiny bit and again higher this out. We're still on the RGB layer and I mean I'm gonna probably play with this more after I get the color layer in. So let's go from RGB down to blue and let's pull this up the bottom one and as you can see now it's filling in all the black areas with blue and then you're gonna Drop this down to kind of get a yellow tone to it. And we're just going to be playing around now. It's going to be tons of fun. <laughs> so you can sit and play with this. I know I did for a couple hours. And I think that's not bad. If you want a more blue, you can drag this out or drag it up. But you don't want it like that. It looks a little strange. So I think around that looks pretty good. Now let me show you how it looks if we didn't add the levels there. See, it's kind of like washed out a bit. So this is one way, and I'm going to show you guys the before and after for this. Before, after. And then let's go back to our inspiration. I know it's not exactly how it is, but I mean, it's as close as I could have gotten it. Let's try it on another image and see how it works. I grabbed this stock from Face Stock at DeviantArt, so thank you for that. Let's again go to layers, or I'm sorry, levels. And then we're just gonna be like, we're gonna be darkening up everything. Making those blacks blacker. And then we can go back to layers, curves. And then again, down to blue and bring it up a little. Let's get, we can get the yellow in there by dragging it down. And let's do some, let's experiment with this actually. Because I really, really want to come close and this has been bothering me. Like, I actually considered contacting a photographer and be like, please, I'm so desperate right now. Can you just tell me what you did? Because it 
seems very simple, and it probably is, but it's that's the hard, the hardest part about photography and editing is are the simple things. So I'm on the RGB layer now. I'm just editing the tones. And I've even considered going and making a solid color layer and then with yellow, like a light yellow. And then making the layer setting, um, let's see, multiply. So it kind of, you can see the difference there. Um, another thing that I considered was going to layer, no adjustment layer, selective color. And then if you go down to the blacks, I believe, you can edit also the blue from here too. So if you lower the yellow down, you can also change it. That's, that's an alternative way. And I'll show you if we didn't have the curves layer. If you lower the yellow layer and selective color on the blacks color, it pretty much fills it in. So that could work too. You could do that too. If you wanted that magenta color, you can just bring up the magenta. So again, just some other techniques that I've been playing with for the past two days. I'm really dedicated to this. Like I'll sit and I'll experiment and stuff. Of course, it's not going to be exactly like that because again, the tones of the, the picture and her red hair and obviously it's Rihanna, so... Um, let me go back and see if I can create, I'm going to duplicate this and set this to screen. Mm. Kind of fills it in, not bad. If I wanted to go back to curves and the red layer, I could play around with the red layer and kind of get it to match a little bit more. So something like that. And let me show you guys the before and after for that. So again, not exactly like it, but it's pretty close, I think. And then I have another image to experiment with. And again, I took this picture from DeviantArt. Jay Lior, I think, took this. Let's go, let me see how, how curves look. Channel Mixer. Or I'm sorry, um, gradient map. Because I've cons I've tried using gradient map and it, it wasn't bad. It actually kind of worked. When I set it to this kind of gradient, I believe it's this one. And then I set it to screen. It kind of gave it a cool effect. So again, you're going to gradient map. You're selecting and making your own gradient. And if you don't know how to make a gradient, I'm literally going to show you how right now. You select this color. Just this little knob right here. You change the color to whatever you want, and I want a blue color. So we're going to select this blue color. We're, and if you want to take this out, say you don't want this red color, all you do is just drag down, and it gets rid of it. And then again, to select another color, to add another color, you just select that knob, and then you just fill it in with whatever color you want. And to save it, you can name it gradient 1, and then you press new and it'll save it for you. So that's how you make your gradient. Now let's go and, and, and see if we can add another tone to this to kind of get it close to those pictures. So something like this would be pretty close, I think. This kind of works out. By adding more colors, you're adding more tones to the picture. So that would be a good that wouldn't be so bad. Um, you can again go back to curves and then add that blue layer again so we can make it more obvious. Can add those. And then drag it down just to add the warmer tones. Let's go back and make sure that this levels layer is below everything. So when you add it on, just either drag it down or make sure that you're selecting the background when you make it. And then we're just going to add some contrast to the picture. You could add contrast through levels or you can go through curves. Either one. 
works. And so after we finished adding the contrast to this, I think we're pretty solid for this one, with this one. You could add, um, again, another solid color layer with the, that yellow again. And then let's try lighten, or I'm sorry, screen. That doesn't work out too much. I think multiply is pretty close. Well, I think it's pretty close with that. You could set it to screen too to kind of make it a little bit lighter. Just like the, I know the Rihanna pictures are a little bit light. So, I mean, not bad. I think that's pretty close. So that's another technique. You could use gradient map. And for the last picture that I have, and this one is, again, by the same person, Jay Lior on DVR. Let's go ahead and try selective, selective color. And this one is the one that I struggled with. So, again, if you go to blacks, and you can higher the black so that it makes it more contrasted. Lower the yellows. And right there you can bring up the cyan too. So it's already looking a lot like that photo. And let's go to yellows and play with this too. We want it to be more yellow, so I'm going to be bringing most of them to the right side. And then let's check out, see what the neutral... It kind of brings it like a nice yellow color, but I don't think that it really matches that Rihanna look. So we are going to be leaving the neutral alone. But I like to try it out, obviously. But Let's go to our gradient map. And let's add in a nice gradient and see what that does for us. Let's try that same gradient that I just used. Well, you could use this one too. Let me try this one. I just used a light pink to a light yellow. And it kind of brought out the colors a little bit. And then I'm going to go to Curves. And go down to blue. And I'm gonna drag it a little bit down more th to the side to the side, and bring it up a little more. And then I'm gonna add some contrast by bringing down the curves. And I like to use separate layers just because I'm just, I'm honestly just weird like that. I have a billion layers for everything, so. So there's another technique before and after for this one. And then we're going to go back to the dress and let me show you guys the before and after. And then this one and before and after. And that's my picture before and after. So there are a lot of techniques to doing this. It's all about practicing and, um, again, the tones in the picture play a huge role. Um, so I honestly tried my best with this one. I think I got pretty close, actually. So um, play around with it, and please share your techniques. And uh, try it out and show me what you got. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. There's probably a million ways to do this, so... Just have fun with it. If you would like to request any tutorials, please email me or post a comment. I love taking requests. So um, I hope you guys learned something from this, and thank you so much for watching.